Hello and welcome. If you're into stable diffusion, you've probably come across Focus, an incredibly user-friendly UI for high-quality face swapping. But here's the thing. Focus offers four different face swapping methods, which can feel a bit overwhelming. I've been using Focus for specific tasks where I need quick, high-quality results. So, in this video, I'll break down all four face swapping methods Focus offers. By the end, we'll determine which one works best so that you can dive right in without second guessing. We'll start by jumping straight into the results of the four methods, followed by a detailed walkthrough of the steps for each one. I'm running Focus on a Windows 11 PC, so if that's your setup, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. Focus's main face swapping methods are Text Prompt Face Swap In Paint Face Swap Image Variation Face Swap Control Net Pyrocanny Face Swap Now that we know our contenders, let's see how they stack up in terms of results. Here's the face image I use for all four methods. Fourth place in paint face swap, this method didn't perform as well as expected, with noticeable issues in facial structure and likeness. Third place, control net pyrocanny face swap, a step up, but still some inconsistencies in finer details. Second place, image variation face swap, solid results, though it fell short in replicating exact features. First place, text prompt face swap, the clear winner. It delivered the most accurate and visually impressive results. These rankings are based on my limited tests using specific AI-generated images. Your results may vary depending on your images and use case. A quick note before we move on. Results depend on the images you use. Non-AI images can vary significantly. Additional text prompts can improve the performance of the last three methods. Each method might suit specific use cases better, so it's worth understanding all four. Let's walk through the process for each method step-by-step, step, starting with text prompt face swap. Open focus and load your base face image. Adjust the text prompt to describe the desired setting. Sitting in a coffee shop, wearing a white turtleneck sweater. Use the image prompt tab to upload your face image. Enable the face swap option in advanced settings. Adjust the stop at one and wait 0.9, values for optimal results. Click Generate to create the new image, a highly accurate and natural face swap that captures fine details like wrinkles and facial structure. Method 2. In Paint Face Swap. Start with the same face and pose images. Mask the area on the pose image where the face will be swapped. Enable the In Paint option in Advanced Settings. Click Generate. Some issues with facial structure and likeness but decent finer details. Method 3. Image Variation Face Swap Upload your face and pose images as before. Use the Variation tab to create subtle changes. Enable the Vary Upscale option in Developer Mode. Click Generate. Close to the text prompt method, but with minor inconsistencies. Method 4. Control Net Pyrocanny Face Swap Load your face image and configure the Control Net settings. Add the pose image and enable the face swap option. Click Generate. Good detail replication, but struggles with complex poses. Now you know which method delivers the best results, text prompt face swap. But each method has its strengths, and the right choice depends on your specific project. If you found this guide helpful, please like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments which method worked best for you. Check the description for timestamps to revisit any section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.